Fly your fair nation. Fly your fair Thank nation. you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode of the Pointless Talks podcast is powered by Fly Fair Nation and recorded by Kingdom Studio Broadcasting Network. Tonight we're here with Dem Sugar. Yeah, yeah. And before we even get into all the fun stuff, I want to say rest in peace to Stan Lee. For those who don't know, get your life because he is the reason why so many, so many comics exist. Well, Marvel, anyways. Um, yeah, just any superhero comic that has to do with Marvel from the Marvel Universe. That's the man behind it. I, I'm going to miss seeing him in all the movies. <laughs> like, I used to, like, make it a mission to, like, find him in the movie. Because, you know, he always has, like, a little cameo, like, doing some random thing. But they make sure that he's in all of the movies. Um, I came across this seven minute thing of like literally just all the clips of him in all the movies. And I was just like, oh my gosh, even the animated ones they had in there. And I was just like, wow. But the man was what, 95, 92, 90 odd. So he lived a long, full life. So rest in peace to him. Um, on another somber note, um, those, y- you good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pay your respects, and Tim, just I hear you. <laughs> um, I don't know, have you heard about those fires in California? Yeah. You know, it's been like two times, so. Um, yeah. I see um, that they put up different, um, you know, what's going on over there. I'm yeah. just like, bro. And, but you know what it, what, what was it on Twitter today that um caught my attention? The Kardashian thing. What Kardashian thing? I know nothing about that. They, about like, that. hired, like, private like firefighters and whatever to like protect their home and whatnot yeah wow. some some you might have to look it up i don't want to like word it wrong or whatever but yeah that sounds like something they would do though yeah and people out here like dead and bun up yeah because yeah um i heard about it on tumblr and I actually looked it up um there's a city or town called paradise california mm-hmm. that's like gone because of these fires like just gone and apparently about 10 years or so ago they experienced something close to this again with the fires like you know a lot of the like they were on the outskirts of hor- like first of all fire <laughs> right fire Halloween. yeah listen we over here worried about hurricanes these niggas is worried about fire like hurricane is wind and water <laughs> Exactly. Like, of course, that can do some damage, as y'all have seen. Uh, wash with enough, 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 but... So you would rather see water covered than fire? Listen, me no want burn up. I feel like it would take longer for you to die in a fire. That's me personally, though. Like, mm? that's mm? me. Like, if you're on fire... It would take longer for you to die like in a fire than water? I feel like you'd drown quicker <laughs> than you would die by fire. You think so? I don't know. Possibly. But I'm, but I'm not thinking about the mass amount of fire that they, I've never seen it, so it's kind of like hard for me to wrap my mind around that much. Yeah, I feel you. Fire, so I'm speaking ignorantly at the moment. Yeah, but I don't. Either way, that's, that's what that's what keep me away from Cali low key though. Really? Like them fire and them earthquake and sitting over there, so like it's a lot. Yeah, earthquakes are real over there too, and yeah, Mm-mm. it's nice though. You should go. Yeah, when I, I'll go visit. Cause I yeah, of been, course. You me? I'll go visit. But, uh, <coughs> Just look up on, you know, the weather report and, okay, and next stuff you know. and see when it's more popular for the fires and just avoid that time of year. Yeah, that's definitely what's going to happen. Yeah. For real, for real. Because when I went, it was what, summertime? Yeah, I went in the summer when I went and mm-hmm. it was nice, mm-hmm. you know, not as hot as Florida. So that was great. Um, I heard something the other day, you know, I'm obsessed with Victoria's Secret, right? Oh, my God. And I heard some very saddening news. All these draws and bras. Bro. <laughs> and I felt like, you know, I should talk about it. Am I that No, girl. Oh. No. But <laughs> the, apparently the spokesperson or CEO, somebody up there, said something to the extent of, yeah, you're already making faces because you already Was know so much. Was it Transphobic. Nah. Well, not transphobic, but not trans inclusive. Okay. They're saying that they, well... Apparently they they came back and retracted, of course, because of course everybody always gotta oh, yeah, come back got and say ass, something else. Yeah, but they were talking about how you know over all the years we talk about the Victoria's Secret fashion show and how they don't have plus size models and all this stuff, and that was a part of the conversation that was being had. And they mentioned having trans women, okay. and they said something like basically saying like 
that's not the image we're going for, the image we're trying to capture, something to that extent. Like, don't make me misquote, but something in that realm was what the conversation was about. Like, you know, we're not trying to, basically saying that's not the audience we're looking to appease to. Like, we're not trying to appeal to that audience. So, kind of like, why would we have, but apparently they weren't talking about trans people. They were talking about plus size people, I guess. But either way, Y'all suck for even saying it because why would you like who cares who you're trying to appeal to? Everybody needs draws. Facts. So And everybody would buy the draws. Yeah, I mean, Rihanna out here saying fuck it, everybody. She taking over makeup, she taking over lingerie. She, she gonna win though. Yeah. Right? Cause her nude bras though, her nude underwear are actual skin tone. Like we have shades, just like her makeup. There are shades, and I know you don't care about none of this yeah, shit in real life. We, we have shades. And I'm, I'm talking just about like, black shades people. Of what? Like, <laughs> shades of what? What are you talking about? Underwear and makeup. What are you even talking about right now? What do you mean, like the colors? Yes. Like, oh, wow, can you not do that? Just say colors. <laughs> oh, you mean like, oh. Like, like actual like, black people nude color instead oh, of that like weird. From me to you yeah. to whoever. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see what you mean. Mm. Yeah, all those That's nudes. fantastic. Okay, can I have black? Like, I don't... <laughs> Look. <laughs> they have black also. I, I, don't all, I don't need all the spicy dish. Just give me like... Yeah. Uh, so I, I, could like... Get, I could get like a, your skin tone on this, right? Yeah, you can. You sure can, if that's what you're into. <laughs> but, um, you know, I have like a low-key an addiction to Victoria's Secret and Victoria's Secret's underwear and... Just the store in general. Don't roll your eyes at me. I am rolling don't, heavy too. Don't heavy. roll your eyes heavy. at me. Okay. I know my flaws. I wanted Child. to talk about addiction though. Like huh? real life addiction. What? Addiction. Addiction? Addiction. To what? Anything in oh, general. The on. idea of it, the reality of it. Let me take a sip because you just Yeah. Um I, this has been in my notes forever. It's like a bunch of things. I'm like, I want to talk about this. Uh So tonight is the night we talk about addiction. Mm. So what you drinking there, buddy? (laughs) Um, A Magnum tonic wine. (laughs) Made Uh, in Jamaica, y'all. Lucky. Good for you. Nom, nom, nom. What's this? Nom, nom, nom. 16.5% alcohol. I saw. So them separate out. They suggest cough syrup to me. Hell nah. This shit look. (laughs) <laughs> this shit make you want to do the yeah the wild thing yeah um jabin was saying how the bottle is people having sex mm-hmm. <laughs> it is definitely them in our things <laughs> <laughs> oh me oh yeah now i'm just like mm. okay do you feel like you've ever been addicted to anything <laughs> do i feel like i have ever i mm-hmm. i know i've been addicted to okay care to share i've been addicted to I'm not going to say women. Can I say women? You can. Sex with women. Okay. Yeah. I had an addiction. Like, I really did. Like, when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Wild. Wild. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you really think it was an addiction or were you just bro, young, thought, wild, and free? I couldn't stop, bro. Like, really? I couldn't stop. Yeah, <laughs> at one point, like, bro, I could not stop. And it was just like, I was connecting the dots. Oh. Yeah, type shit. Yeah. So... But, you know, it's funny. How did you get over this addiction? <laughs> Y'all gonna love this. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> See, prayer. Okay. Oh. Yes, indeed. You prayed about... I did, because I, after a while, it was just... It got annoying, because it was just like, oh, my gosh, the only way I could function is really if I have... This is wild. Like, this is the only time I feel alive, for real, for real. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was bad, bad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. When was this? While being in the closet. So imagine. Oh, shit. Imagine all this shit. So there goes the Young, Wild, and Free. Because I was thinking this was after you came out and no. life was living and you was just running around like, bitch, I Listen, can do this. I don't know. This is recording and I can't talk about after I came out. That was, no. We okay. Can't, we can't do that. You just never know. <laughs> out here. Oh, wow. Okay. But that, um, uh, other thing. Mm, past- mm. I got to think. You go. Okay, I know I'm definitely addicted to like sugar, like in a real way. What the hell going on? No, seriously. Did I really just talk about no, my but I'm talking about cur- I'm talking about currently. Sex, and this girl said sugar. I'm talking like, about sugar currently. In, you mean sugar, actual sugar? No, I mean like sweet things, like candy and oh, anything wow. that's wow. sweet. Okay. You and your salt addiction, but I uh, have a salt addiction. <laughs> do I? You 
<laughs> you you really love salt. salt. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but I was addicted to alcohol at one point. Oh, I, listen. But that was a coping mechanism right. for me. And Correct. I realized that we all I, have a good drink. Like I do love a good drink. I do. I and you know what's crazy to me? I've always drank liquor. Like it's not even like, you know, in excess or anything of that sort, but I've always drank. And I was in a relationship when I was like 15, 16, and the person said something to me like, I'm an alcoholic. And I was like, what? Now, mind you, them time that I was not drinking like that. I Christmas, spike some eggnog or, you know, like whatever, like family, you know, we have yeah, yeah, family yeah, yeah. functions yeah. and Tifon beer and, you know, mm-hmm. them kind of things. So hearing that, I was just like, what? And they dared me to not drink for two years. And I was like, okay, it's not that big a deal. I was mad as hell, though, because I went to Jamaica and there was some great rum cake. And due to discipline, you I didn't drink. <laughs> I didn't eat none of the cake. Island. It Don't bun me to this day. <laughs> tell me nothing about you can't drink nothing. I'm going to drink. I Just have no that. rum cream, no no you, rum and raisin ice cream, no black cake. You, should, you see how I'm looking? I'm judging you right now because you was a wild one. Just to prove a point because I was like, I was not addicted to it at that time. Yeah, but you want... Look, bro. Look. At the end of the day, they could still think you're addicted, but you're just uh-huh. trying to prove this point. Uh-huh. Right? I know. So I would have... Nah. I was young, girl. I was a teenager. Do that, you like, tell me do that shit now. Like, <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, in real life... If you I tell me not me. to drink... Two, tell who not to drink for two years right now? <laughs> in in these trying times? In these trying times, is <laughs> right. <laughs> you want me to not drink in this economy? Okay. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Fuck what's going on in real life, in my personal and, life. And, the, and that this man administration. Yeah, yeah no. Right, yeah, right. Sometimes you just need to just drink. You just imagine to, me to cook. You can't imagine Just me. member same daddy and just say, Jesus. With no liquor? Just... Two years? <laughs> Yo. You're yeah. almost mad. Yeah, probably. No. But I... I think me realizing that I had a problem was like... Not remembering shit. Granted, my memory sucks as it is. Mm. And knowing that I have control issues and I want people to be like, you've seen me drink. I drink and I drink and I drink and I'm fine. Mm-hmm. And I don't, you know, I don't feel... Na- I, I, okay, go ahead. I get a little tipsy, you know. I get real nice and talkative and I might be Who friendly. You? Yeah. Yes, and you become my dancing partner. <laughs> but, like, not to the point where I don't remember what's happening. And I was drinking like that at one point. Oh, them blackouts. Yeah. Boy. And I, there, honestly, there's times in my life that I really don't remember. Like, I remember mm. parts of it. So, like, yeah. yeah and like, I, I remember, like, I that. how that's, I started the I day. You, that's and, why I stopped drinking Patron. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was drinking, by like, itself, by cheap itself. liquor, Now though. I only drink Patron and margaritas because <laughs> I cannot handle it, bro. I will end up under somebody's table, bro, on, on my back. Like, it's not good. I love Patron. Patron is delicious. I can't do it, bro. That's we, me and Fia shit, boy. Fia. Pat and Ron. Get some salt and a lime. Fia. We lit. Oh, God. Here you go. You know I love Fia. <laughs> you know. But. <laughs> not the yeah. Patron, bro. Not by. I, people, I see people with the bottle with a straw in it Are okay yeah no i don't drink i take shots of patron or in margarita i can't even take That's shots it. of it no i can't do that like after pride um what was that? oh jesus girl which oh, pride is the, this uh, that that pride that pride oh okay so okay after, yeah after that pride i wouldn't want to drink no patron either I'm, shit <laughs> dead ass. in fucking real life yeah real shit after yeah right. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> no patron yeah. for me that margaritas what, though you know, you know I love me a good uh, margaritas you know I love delicious. me a good margarita yeah. at all times but. throw a little mango in there some strawberry but definitely I don't I don't know I've had people try to tell me mm-hmm. that they felt like I was addicted to alcohol or that I was an alcoholic uh huh even though they drank more than I did which was really very interesting mm-hmm. but <clears throat> I mean I never saw myself as an alcoholic yeah I like to have me a few but it's not a dependency. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, me. when I was, I was dependent on it. Like, and I... No. My thing is, if you see me drinking a lot, that means... Or having more than one... You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I come home, I like to have me, like, some wine. Or y'all know mm-hmm. I like margaritas, my thought juices. Yo, those are my things. I got flavors. These, Hello. You and these shits. <laughs> I love them, yo. Ugh. I pour out some. I chill, have a drink, right? If you see me have, like, two, three, four of them, something going on with me. hmm And I'm not feeling good. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I know. You think you could be addicted to sleep? Because I've been there. Yeah, you can. 
I've been there. People sleep to cope also. Hell um yeah, I've usually been there, bro. if I if I didn't have nothing to do it was sleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been there for real. But that's when again I didn't come out yet. Stress uh, at home, feeling, you know, all types of shit, you know. I'm I'm notorious for saying you know go to sleep and pretend That's me. it didn't happen. That's Just, me. Oh, I'm having a bad day. I'm going to sleep. Facts. Sleep cures everything. <laughs> no, facts. Just a little rum to make the sleep come faster, and we're out. <laughs> but I, what was it? When I realized <laughs> that I couldn't remember shit and that I was drinking like cheap liquor, liquor at that and my taste buds Le- is, you, for mm. liquor is expensive i can't be drinking every time you say cheap liquor you know what i think about what my birthday bro oh god that cheap rum bro at grand the Central? cigarettes and whatever that shit was Bruh, called Ugh. that shit made us so sick i was out with a gallon of water my nigga you we oof. went to work who went to work we you, both went to work yeah i think you threw up on the bus on the way back from work <laughs> Yeah, I did. We both went to work, but I left. Yeah, you and left. you stayed. I, I was know, I don't know what you thought this water. was. Water and I did, and I was on the bus, y'all. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> I threw up like a good thing. I had like a bag. I just oh, threw up God. in that joint, yo. That was crazy. Yeah, y'all don't judge me. It was a bad time. Listen, your birthday that's is Independence that's Week. I, that's when I just got here too. That's yeah. That was my first birthday here. Like it was rough times, girl. On that the was, bus throwing up. What was on. that? What party was that? What you talking Way about? Way up. Was that way up? Yeah, that's that was yeah, way up on way Thursdays up. at Grand Central. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that Thursday night spot. That was that the free liquor before and was it? One or... going into my birthday. <laughs> the... Yeah, that. Yeah, they were frightened. Yeah, the free it was free before, drinks, and we y'all. used to just have it like was three free drinks for legit for two hours, yo. Like, yo, we used to. Yo, and used... then we would have like you know, four we... drinks in the last the fact five that minutes. We would be at like eight drinks, <laughs> tripping like. I don't know, yo, I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm a punk when it comes to drinking <laughs> anyway. I don't even know what I be trying to do sometimes. I need to sit down. Okay, I'm a smoker. I can smoke. I, I drink. I don't smoke. Yeah. <laughs> she the smoker. I mean, she's the drinker. I'm the smoker. Like, nah. I drink like three good drinks and I'm like, hey. This is fun. I'm ready. I'm ready to hop on the good foot or something. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that. But I was looking online because I was like, I knew we were going to talk about this. And the whole thing about addiction was it is as a dependency like that's where it comes from and i know a lot of people that are addicted to something and they try to find reasons to say that they're not addicted or try to say that they don't depend on it or like certain things like weed for example right (laughs) i know somebody that i knew was addicted to weed they were in denial that they're addicted to weed like in denial well Uh uh-huh is it what oh you want me to testify or something no because you said well i I, well, I thought you were saying something. i can testify yeah am i a pot- yeah <laughs> i'm a pothead again in life i was one once then it stopped you know okay you know. but do you feel like you can go like a whole day without smoking weed right now mm-hmm. yeah okay they couldn't like at all like oh. to the point where like they shit start, just they start-, start getting angry and irritable huh yeah yeah that shit's crazy yeah but you know, I felt that though. I felt it, mm-hmm. but I had to fight that because I was like, "Nah, I ain't, I ain't weak, bro. Like, I'm not weak. F that. I'm not depending <laughs> on you. I'm about to be angry, but I'm not about to smoke you. I'm telling you, maybe the day after or the day after that. But I'm a clip, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta boss up on yourself and be like, "Stop being a bitch." Like. Yeah, and some people feel like people can only be addicted to like drugs, like hard drugs and like, you know, cocaine and heroin. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You can be addicted to anything. You can be addicted to a routine. You can be addicted to a feeling or you can be addicted. It's so many things. Yeah. A feeling. Yeah. Yeah. And people feel like just because it's, not a drug, quote unquote, and weed is not a drug, it's a herb. Um, Thank you. They, <laughs> yes, those were air quotes. Abilities. Those were air quotes because <laughs> cocaine comes from a plant, also. But, that's anyways, not, that's not. <laughs> so, they feel that because it's not like heroin or coke or crack or any of the opioids, that they're not addicted to something. Like, they're not, you know, what? You look like you got a, you got something to say over there? You good? <laughs> Because your eyes widen up like something happened. I got a text message. Oh, Jesus. It was nice. High text message. But, um, (laughs) (laughs) you know what I'm saying? They feel like because it's not any of those taboo things that they don't have a problem. And I think about like the music industry, the amount of people, not even just music, 
celebrities in general. How many people die from an overdose? Overdose don't just happen just one day you just overdose your first time taking something. So those are people that are dealing with addiction who go too far and then bye, sorry, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that is a real thing. Like we lose so many people to drug overdose. Like so many people. If the you want to really goes count, on, if you want to really count it, how many like legends and so on yeah. and lovers should still be alive right now if mm-hmm. they did not have an addiction issue or mm-hmm. whatever? Yeah, it's kind of wild actually. Yeah, and there was this one point where they were talking about like the 27-year-old club or whatever, like all the celebrities who died at 27 from drug overdose. I'm 27. Well, you're still here. Okay. You're still here. You're not doing them hard drugs neither, though. I don't, think, I don't think weed has killed anyone. Hold on, let's get into it. Nobody, what drugs are you talking about? I'm talking about like... Let me see what, what drugs... All the what drugs oxys. Do they, what drugs they got out there that I've done? Uh, you, you done oxys? I don't think you I You popping Percocets? I, no, no. I have, I have popped some perk. Come on. Xanax? I've, have you ever <laughs> done acid? Nah. <laughs> I've done... What I don't want Molly's? Them? I've done Molly. You drinking lean? I've n- mm. never drank lean. No, I've actually had lean. <laughs> I had some dirty sprite. You once. see me? You see me? <laughs> you see me trying to remember the thing yet? Because I feel like it was. Pre- you probably have. You know what happened? One of them nights in New York. You, you know why? You, why, why wow! Wow! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Wow! Kibber your mouth. <laughs> It wasn't Chill with me. Out, I'm just G. saying what scenario where it might Yo, have happened. the fact that you're like saying so much, I'm not even <laughs> laughing with you right now. I feel like it might have been in a room one time and I might have like looked at it mm-hmm. and somehow it might have like hopped onto my tongue maybe a little bit. Hop, and skip, on, jump on like, it. No. You know? No. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I feel like I might have tasted it and I was just like, nah, I'm good. I had some dirty Sprite once. I was in North shrooms. Carolina. I've done really? shrooms. Is it an actual mushroom? I know it's no, a dumb question. It it's like, a pill? It's like, it looked like just crumbled. Like, so it's an actual it mushroom, like but mushroom it's kind of thing. It just, but it's yeah. like dried and, and yeah. Them kind. Oh, okay. But my thing See, is, I'm I'm such a virgin. It was when it comes straight. To I did that in high school, and it was this other girl named Catherine, this white girl, <laughs> and um, she was you know she was into mm-hmm. them things, and um, she was like, I got you know in a little bag, yeah, I got shrooms and shit. I was like, okay, nigga, some shrooms. <laughs> so then she was, I was like, let me try that shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Yo, I swear, wow. <laughs> there was a lot going on. I was really seeing you, a lot of were everything. You, were you seeing sound and hearing yeah. color? I was seeing, yo, unicorns and shit. Right? Really? Yeah. So is that considered like tripping out? I, yo, and then I, I just felt, but it's like everything kind of disappeared. Like, and it was just like I was in this world. It was You're like yeah. floating. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was just out there. Yeah. Like Alice in Wonderland? Oh, <laughs> somewhere. Yo, that would have been really cool. A cool experience. I would have oh, did that. Gosh. What? No? No, I'm you just like saying. Alice in Wonderland? I'm just saying. Like, I you know, hear. Though, so why wouldn't you? No, no, no. I, I love Alice in Wonderland. But I'm just saying, some people say that, you know, that whole story is about a drug experience. Like, yes. so I'm thinking, yeah, like, you know, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, all those fun drugs and things. I mean, weed, of course. What I, else? I've never even smoked weed. I, I, yeah, my drug of choice never, is alcohol. I tried some lean ones. That's Have, it. Okay, it's like crack. No. Coke. Cocaine. No. You I never can't. smoked a dirty blunt? <laughs> I, <laughs> listen, I, I don't, th- I've never done it. And if someone has had me do that or was with me and I did it, y'all yeah, fucked up. I, I feel like never. you would know the difference of That's between what I'm saying. a weed like, high I'd have been like, like, a... like, hey, like, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, woo woo. You know what I mean? What's the other one thing that people be doing? Um, What's that shit? I don't Is know. it dust? Like Dust? Isn't that like another name for, um, um something? Something else, I don't right? Know. Anyway, but I said I heroin, but yeah, no, different places whoa, about different what? things. <laughs> whoa, those, whoa, heroin. Those Bitch, kind of, said, we said all them drugs that you whoa, do act her- like this for heroin. Whoa, heroin, the one that, look, heroin that is. That boy. <laughs> heroin is the one I just can't look, bruh. Heroin get me. Mm. That actually happens in the real world. Like, that's yeah. how I am with heroin. I don't. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah. it's okay. I see I, people come into like CBS. You know, I used to love The Wire. You feel me? Oh like, gosh, <laughs> <laughs> they taught you all you need to know. <laughs> and like the people that come into CBS, like when I used to work on the one off Federal, there was a homeless shelter down the street, and there was like a lot of fun late night activity that went up and down that strip. So I saw a lot of people that were 
addicted to prescription drugs so they would come in and literally we've had to call the ambulance at least three times on people because they're literally on the counter like lolling out like tongue out don't know what's going on you got them on a stretch about to go out and they're like no no i'm fine like, no you're not you don't know what year we're in you don't know who the president is they're asking them all the questions that they ask before they admit you and they're like yeah yeah no and i'm like can you just get them out of my store? I don't care if you take them to the hospital or if you just put them on the curb down the street, but we can't have this. That's bad for business. And those people are one of the reasons why it's so hard for people who actually do need prescription drugs can't get it because they're people that are abusing it. You get a script for back pain. You go to have surgery or something and you get a script for that and you get so used to the feeling of Mm -hmm. this drug. And even after you don't have no back pain no more, you still trying to, yeah, you still trying to go get prescription drug. I have somebody I used to work with that literally was like, I need to get some Vicodin. For for what? (laughs) Vicodin. Oh, so I can chill. What? Huh? Okay. Okay. She's like, or some Percocet. Huh? So you, okay, cool. Like you just have these, just, just pop these just because. People legit just pop them shits just because it's, it's Thursday, like yeah, yeah. It's a she day. had a rough day. She's gonna go pop one of these and like they be like, oh, full no, on their muscle relaxers. Their favorite thing to do get them a zany or a perk or whatever them shits is and mm-hmm. get them a glass of wine, a bottle uh, of wine. That's they. That was shit. just about to say, and you should not be taking these things That's with alcohol. You be you be nice and spaced by nine p.m. ready to crawl up the wall, okay, and do splits on a dick that you never <laughs> did before. It's crazy. It's crazy. No, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. And be ready to go all night. Mm-mm. Right, and then be dead sleep after. <laughs> Listen, nah. I'm scary, and I feel like I have I'm sorry? like I'm scary. What do you mean? I, oh, I, what I, could I, possibly? Yeah, happen? I don't okay. know. I'm afraid to try those things. Oh, you don't no. mean you? Know, oh, I don't. Or you, do you mean? Well, do you take painkillers? I am. You know, I'm like very rare with painkillers. I have my Correct. issues with taking any kind of drug. Like I would tell somebody else to go take drugs before I go take it. Like honestly. I have to be like in like, dire pain. These past few months, like weed legit has become my pain kill- my painkiller cause mm-hmm. all over again, like little by little. Mm-hmm. Because I can't buy- like the pills and shit. Like I don't know. Yeah, I'm really supposed to be like some whatever. That whole yeah, it's coming. Yeah, I already know that. I tell it's gonna be vital in the future. I already oh, know. Yeah, okay. I know. Yeah. 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 All right. I already know it. Well, you <laughs> my know. Stomach, cause my stomach don't be with nothing. Really? You know my stomach don't be with stuff. My stomach be like, nah. Damn. This ain't it, sis. Look at some cabbage on, you know, some some kalaloo and look, man. look a season up, season up on some chickpeas. <laughs> I know you, you hate know chickpeas. You know I hate chickpeas. <laughs> Yo, anybody out there, if y'all take me anywhere at any time for any reason. Just scrape mm, off the chickpeas. <laughs> no chickpeas. Thanks. Yeah. Is it called it garbanzo? That's what the Spanish name for it or something, sir. Garbanzo beans. Or something. But yeah, um, um, the joke. Yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, addiction though. Like and it's funny how we say how people take Percocets and stuff to go unwind, and that's so crazy. But then someone who doesn't participate in any of that would be like, "But you drink to go to sleep. That's just as bad." Because a lot of people will always argue that alcohol is also a drug. I would never say that it's not. I feel like it's all chemical at the end of the day. So that's what you want to consider a drug. That's what you want to consider a drug. There's a chemical alteration in your body and you're chasing that feeling at the end of the day. So whether it's, you know, feeling of being wanted or loved or whatever, like I always say I have an obsessive personality. I know that I can get obsessed with things, but the control freak in me kind of like fights with that. So like if I feel like I'm getting too like, overly dramatic oh, yes. and attached to certain oh, things yeah, yeah. I, have, I shut down but I'm, go. yeah I'm like one of those people like I'm I'm with you all or nothing kind of thing I don't have like I'm a middle you, ground I'm with, with things there. so like yeah. even like I said I, I like, don't I hate that like and I read this horoscope thing this week too it was is like, that the Leo in once, me once oh, I man. feel like I'm losing control yo Ooh. it's just like nah because of like jealousy or mm-hmm. like Anything you know, out of shit. my control, yeah. Let me see if I can find it actually. Go on top. But yeah, so like anything that like I feel like I'm getting too drawn to or too addicted to. I think Yo, I have a fear of being that's addicted. Leo I feel like I have a fear of being addicted to something. That's a Leo in So you, like, sure. even like with shows, like with TV shows, you know, like I'll be like I'm binge watching something, and I literally will binge watch, 
And then I'll realize that I'm doing it, and I'll just stop, and then I'm cold turkey. I found it. You oh, were, go I ahead. I read it. Mm-hmm. All right. You value your pride and your rationality, and you're afraid love will compromise your senses because when it comes to matters of the heart, you tend to go by feeling and instinct. You always have to be in charge, so Ooh. love scares you because you don't want to relinquish any kind of amount of control. <clears throat> you chill out, bro. Need like a water. <laughs> you don't like feeling like you don't have power and feeling things like love, jealousy, or heartbreak make you feel like you're not in control. Mm. You strongly rely on your need for independence and it terrifies you to also have to give up that sense of power. So, well, fine. Leo horoscope for when now? Yo, nah. It's That's like just a, like overall it thing. It was like a thing, like a ruler of the fifth house. A whole uh. bunch of stuff. And they had it for every sign though, but Leo's like, I had to screenshot the whole thing because it like really hit it on the head. In a real I was like, way. wow, why is it like holding yeah. me up like that? You know how many people who don't believe in zodiac signs though? And I'm like, do y'all actually look into these things? Or y'all just saw one description of your sign and was like, that's not me. I, right, I don't believe in right. that. Because I believe in it, but at the same time, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm not one of those people that goes around and I'm like, <gasps> I will tell you your rising and your your what moon and your sun and I, I'm not with all of that. Go you, that's wonderful, great. Leo's but I rising somebody. Yeah, all that <laughs> stuff. Yeah, okay, whatever. You're powered by this and that. I'm not that really and, sure about all of that stuff. So yeah, I kind of just I'm yeah. a Leo and yeah, that's it. I'm on the cusp of Cancer and Leo, so yeah, go me. Yeah, that's all. I'm I just know. a whole I'm lot of batshit crazy. Leo and rising <laughs> sun. Moon yeah, no. Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like i've i didn't go that far into the whole astrology thing so i me personally i'm just on the surface i'm not real deal holy feel like some of y'all so real deal holy feel. yeah real deal holy feel Let's some of y'all up. be into it like for yes, real for okay. real <laughs> go you read me if y'all need to but i'm i'm not it but back to addiction because i had like a whole thing about this um you can't break no, no 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 yeah i'm you know i have an order in there about like functioning addicts sorry about that functioning addicts you know people who hmm. are in everyday life okay. and they you know because okay have you ever seen red table talk with um jada pinkett smith and i have not sat down and actually watched a full episode okay i've only caught those glimpse you know uh-huh. like those one two the minute previews clips yeah but um, I've been meaning to sit down and kind of take it in because I kind of do like what mm-hmm. I have been seeing and what, you know, kind of want to be involved in the conversation, mm-hmm. I guess, when I see it. They did have an episode on addiction, right? Okay. And um, her sister-in-law um, is addicted to marijuana. And the way she was talking about it was she was saying that, like, she literally wakes and bakes. I don't know why I don't feel like someone could be addicted to it. I don't know but what listen, it but is about that's, me. that was her thing, though. She was like, it's weed. Like, what do you mean? Like, no. I, but she was I saying that, like, can, but it's just, she know. wakes up first thing before she even rolls out of bed. She has her joint already rolled up. Rolled up, she's, yeah. She yeah, hits a puff. Go for the wake and bake. And then, you know, throughout her day, she smokes. Yeah. On lunch break, on yeah. regular break, yeah. bathroom. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong? I mean, if that's what her, that, if that's what she want to do, I mean, not everybody could do. That. <laughs> you know, my inner warning is like, if my inner pothead, like, if I was, you know, if I could do all of that, I yeah. would. You know, I mean, okay. But she realized that, like, she stopped smoking. I think she said she started getting headaches or something like that. And I was like, oh, when she stopped, she started getting uh-huh. headaches. Mm, mm-hmm. See, so her I, body dependent at that point. Yeah, because I mean, you're literally smoking all day long, like. At least once an hour, she's smoking. At least, if okay, not, hold up now. that's a lot. Once yes, an hour. because literally, like Bro, she says, twenty four hours in, in the day, car G. on the way. Well, while she's awake, of course. But like, why? <laughs> hmm? I don't you know should, how. Long, I, I don't know how long she smoke. How long she <laughs> sleeps for? Right. But she's saying that like she smokes in the car on the way to work after she just smoked when she woke up. Like so, she smokes, goes and gets ready. On the way to work, she's smoking. When she gets to work, after she done, I guess, logged in or whatever, she's smoking. I'm like, damn, that's a lot of money. That's what I'm thinking about. That's a lot of fucking money. Now I'm trying to think, like, what would I be willing to spend that much money on if I had it to blow like that? Like, what could I be addicted to that I would be okay with for that? It's like, I think that level, like, just the fact that something that you have to actually spend money on is also another reason why I'm kind of, like, not okay. Like, I have such 
a fear of addiction. It's like, dog, I don't want to sell nobody TV to go buy weed. Like, <laughs> whoa, whoa, you doing that? You in, you in big know. issues, man. But I'm saying, like, you know, some people like addiction. Selling a TV to I'm buy weed. joking. What I was being an ass. What you getting? Huh? What I'm you being an to ass. I'm just TV? saying. Because some people, like, they don't pay bills to feed whatever they're. Oh, yeah. That's when you, you know, know what I'm saying? Really that's, yeah, that's when I know you got some stuff. But you got people like. Addi- let me see addiction i'm trying to think of like if anything wrong. functioning like, alcoholics i was gonna say my my daddy M- mine <laughs> I hope that I had a to lot put of you out. i had to put you out a there. lot of caribbean people oh yeah but uh, they don't see it as that see that's because it's part of our culture though correct to like drink exactly so it's like like not even just jamaicans like trini people whole, when you think about trinidad you think about what johnny walker everybody every Rum is the thing. It's exactly. Not, everybody. They have so many songs singing about rum. Everybody in the Caribbean period. Yeah. We drink, we drink, we drink, we drink. and Every island. We, we all matter. look at it, well, for the most part, like, it's just a natural part of it's the thing. We your like, being. We like to drink. And yeah. that's how we, that's how the, we always We drink. make it you acceptable. You have around your family, your mm-hmm. friends. It's around the good times, the bad times. It's, yeah. It's just Literally. It is always there. It's a thing. It's always there. It has and to be present. It's just I know. Some people who aren't familiar with our culture would be like, oh, you're an alcoholic if they see how often we drink. Like, I made a snap the other day saying how, you know, rum always has to be in my house. Right. We use rum for everything. When Correct. you're sick, drink liquor rum. Rub liquor, you have a fever, rum will get the fever down. Facts. And people will laugh and be like, yeah, hey. And make you ever drink. So it's like, what's up? Exactly. All It'll clear up, it clear up coal. If you, all purpose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's better than Vicks sometimes. <laughs> like, you drink liquor rum, put it on each your nose, like... There's so many uses for rum, you know? So we, as Caribbean people, will hear this and be like, oh, yeah, rum, that's fine. But somebody else who isn't familiar is going to be like, y'all are alcoholics. Y'all are functioning alcoholics because it's not like we drink and we just dash for the whole day, dash what we're doing. We drink and we carry on with our life like everything is okay. I remember a point where my dad, he doesn't drink as much as he used to, but my, fa- my father can drink. Mine too. My daddy can drink him some rare nephew Same. overproof rum. Same. Like with, wa- with water. Gah! Oh Disgusting. My goodness, Jesus, bro. that tastes so Not weird to me. Not even with some like Coke, uh, something else no. with water. Daddy, he drink it with. <laughs> with they <laughs> gross, but daddy. Campari. Then, Campari. Campari. Yeah. Yours too? <laughs> that is disgusting. Yeah. Can you explain to me? And then sometimes drop little bitters in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how their stomachs are still standing. Like that just so na- I honestly feel like that's Campari why I, and, and um white rum. I honestly feel like that's why they don't get sick. When the last time your father got sick? Me no no my about Because rum keep him healthy. <laughs> yeah, because when everybody did get chicken gunny, I never get sick. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Everybody has a job get chicken gunny. Oh, I God. never get sick. People probably like what? Chicken gunny? Yeah, probably they don't know what that is. You want to explain to them what that is, Catherine? I wanted that go out with the mosquitoes tell them, not true. Not so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like the mosquitoes was carrying some shit. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, I don't know like who you would call it, like on the West Nile kind of tip. Yeah. All that Zika, West Nile, yeah, all that Zika, mosquito all that transfer. Shit, yeah, and people, what was happening to them? People was like in pain and mm-hmm. cramps. I'm trying and to think of what's the other sickness that was like that. Not this- dengue. <laughs> Can you stop? <laughs> Can you stop? Can you stop? Go home. Oh my God, go home. They gotta be a top <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Anyways, I'm but yeah, like, that. honestly though, I feel like, you know, rum keeps you healthy in moderation. In moderation, because of course you need your liver. But a lot of people, like I said, you grow up in the household and you see it all the time. And I always feel like that's one of those things that I want to have liquor in my... I don't want to keep that from my children. Because you know the whole idea of you teach people that th- things are bad, it becomes more enticing to them. So I see people yes. who didn't grow up around alcohol, who like they get Say older. That Say that again. I like You this. keep things away from people and it becomes more enticing to them on so many different I levels. I love that. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I see people who, like, grew up sheltered or grew up who thought that, you know, you shouldn't drink alcohol. It's the devil's juice, whatever the hell. <laughs> and they end up going out and can't manage their liquor. They out here doing way too well, much yeah. and don't know how to handle. They yeah. don't know what it feels like to get to their limit and stop. But it's like me. Like, when my kids, like, I'm going to tell my kids them, you know, like, you want to smoke? You want to drink? 
Bring it here for me. Lego. Let's go. Let me go get you some. Mm -hmm. And I ain't going to get you no weak shit neither. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get you some good shit. Just to make sure, since you think you want to smoke, yeah. just to see how your chest feel about mm -hmm. it. Okay? Put like a grab by in there. Exactly. <laughs> you feel me? And if you want to drink, let's sit here. We're going to have a little. We're gonna Come on. Little... Call Auntie Janae over. Exactly. <laughs> we're going to start. We're going to sit here and have a little drink. No problem. Mm -hmm. And then y'all tell me how y'all feel about it after. Yeah. That's it. Honestly, I can't remember when I had my first drink. I cannot me remember. Either, I've heard stories. I think my daddy was drinking a Guinness and me being fast at like three or I, some young, young age yeah. and go get like a sip and runway. And apparently my alcoholic ass came back and was like, give me more. <laughs> that's the story I heard. I don't remember I, I so bet, far back. I bet that's what you heard. And I mean, I remember going to parties. My aunt had a shop in Brooklyn. And they used to have parties once a month, every Friday or so. And... We'll be have a full bar, you know, get a little red stripe, get a Heineken, look a rum, whatever. And it was just like, okay. My mom used to like joke about it low key and be like, look at this alcoholic, like Ned. And I was like, but it wasn't nothing like I'm hiding in the corner drinking liquor, hiding it from my parents and, you know, going but, OD. I wasn't even getting tipsy them time though. It wasn't like issue. I was. I used to steal my father, yo, because daddy <laughs> has a bar, right? Of course. In the basement. And that bar is always lit. Stocked, yes. It's always lit. So, I used to sneak bottles of Heineken up, right? And underneath my bed, I had drawers. You, you know and these damn beers. My, gee, look, you know them beds uh -huh. had the drawers underneath? Uh -huh. Oh, I shit. I used to sneak them <laughs> shits up, bro. You know when I, like, got moved up? Okay, when I got kicked out. <clears throat> got moved out. <laughs> and they were, like, changing up the room everything. They were, like, my father was like, I found all my Heineken up here. <laughs> Empty buckle. He was like, some empty, some full. I found so much liquor up here. All type of Amsterdam. Oh, That's when Amsterdam oh, was my drink. Y'all. Bruh. Amsterdam Peach, Janae, you already bruh, know. Bruh, our Thursday night mixes. Bruh, Thursday night, thirsty Thursday. Oh, my God. Oh we used to be gosh. on FaceTime with your ass drinking. And DJing, I think yo. we both used to be drinking. Yeah, yeah DJing. That was during those my alcohol. Those were the times, yeah. bruh. Those, those were when I was going through my alcoholism at a really bruh. fast and bruh. steep pace. Yeah, and I was Finishing the Amsterdam yeah, bottle you a night by myself. Shits. Yeah. Mm. Legit in like two, three hours. I was like, exclusive. I was wilding, yo, for real. Like, mm -hmm. I used to buy a new one every week for mm -hmm. Thursday and done it by myself yeah. in the room. Wild. Yeah. Wild. And looking back now, like, I saw that and I didn't notice. Like, I noticed, but it didn't, like, click yeah, to me because I, I, mean, I was doing drunk damn as an ass. <laughs> about, hey, next tune, hey. And you over there drinking too, like, hey. It's like, we damn. Used to be so alcoholic lit. ass. It's drunk as fuck all FaceTime. Bro. <laughs> and, like, back then, I saw it and it was happening in front of me and, and I didn't see it as a problem because my ass would be there with the fucking both, exclusive. We both, we both had a problem shit. and we couldn't see it in each other. That's what was going on. Dog. And couldn't see shit because me, lick over, my time, mix done part. All right. See you later. Next week, next time. Same time. Both. All right. Next back again. Done. Okay. And then it's the same. Now them exclusive bottles was what ten twenty dollars a bottle. Listen. They got flavors from Yasa Comeback. Like it <laughs> flavors. And you know okay? what's right I don't even drink vodka anymore. Yeah. Uh, ask me when I start drink anymore. vodka. I, don't, I haven't had. Vodka. I don't drink vodka. I really only stick to rum now. Yeah. It's either rum and cranberry, Tequila. rum and rum red for the bull. Most part. But someone told me I should not drink. I mean, I should not drink. Rum and Red Bull, so I'm a Why not? I'm, a kind of, I'm drinking rum. Yeah, that's I'm nice. Red but she Bull. said don't do it, so I'm going to take her word for it. And Energy. Okay. So, yeah, so I guess with cranberry. So rum <laughs> and a splash of pineapple? Or taking on my drink. Taking on my drink. We, we've been to enough bars. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'm a little razzle-dazzle, you know what I'm saying? Fancy, fancy. Rum with some cranberry and a splash of pineapple on the ass. Yo, remember those uh, slushy drinks we had at, what party was that? Um, At the bar at 1306? When... With his father? Yeah, bruh. Them drinks Whoa. snuck up on us because we thought them shits was lightweight. Whoa. Yo. We had one. Listen. Whoa. Listen. I, I wish do I had, not I wish like, I could have had three. Bro. And I wish I had a... No. Out, <laughs> three and a body. Wow. Listen. <laughs> we bought them drinks and took a sip. I was like, mm, okay, whatever. I juice. That shit was feeling so good. Bro. That shit was great. Bruh. Who made... I, need, I need, think it was in the little machine nah, thing. Nah, we need to figure something out. Yo. that person, whoever... They did that. Yeah. I don't like drinks like that. No. And that's me all day. No. 
I like to taste my liquor. I want it to burn my throat, burn my chest, make me feel like I'm growing a cup of chest here. I like to know that I am drinking alcohol. I don't want to feel like I'm drinking juice. Because then when I get up and life drop dong, I no. My thing <laughs> is, it depends. You see if I'm going through some shit where I'm like, F that girl, I don't, you know what I'm talking <laughs> about? That kind of breakup stuff. Give me some hard shit because I don't care. But if I am just like chilling. Trying to have a good time. I love a fruit look. Look, y'all can judge the me. fruity you can ass judge drinks me if you want. I love fruit tastes drinks. like just juice. Tastes like juice, and when I get up, my knees buckle, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, there I go. You feel me? Like that's my type of shit. I'll make it. I'll make it all yo, day long. Yo, and she always make the best shit. <laughs> I'll make it, but always, yo. Don't taste my drink if that's what you want. And I love mango, so if you could do the mango with the Whatever. alcohol and make it like icy or like. With the, some with kind of smoothie, something, something like that. Yo, you got me. Like. Yo, remember we was watching scary movies and drinking mango margaritas, bro, on the floor, <laughs> bro, on the floor, <laughs> bro. Yo, we, yo, we have had some days, yo. I don't even think, nope. Even Bruh, then, the strawberry margaritas. Even then, though, yeah, we even weren't then. as bad because that was just after the breakup. I was gonna say, even then, we weren't that bad, mm-hmm. but we were still drinking a lot. We were both fresh out of relationships at you that know time. You know, we too. were drinking a lot. In the relationships that we were... Big facts. Yeah. Even us, like... You know, I thought about that one week... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Sweet Heat weekend. Girl. Oh! Yeah, Sweet Heat. Uh, oh! Sweet Heat. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Sweet Heat, what was it? Our first Sweet Heat together? 2015. Yeah. Jesus. 2015. That's the year I yeah. got here. 2015 Sweet Heat. Wow. Oh. Listen, I, I just think about the drinking pictures. we did that weekend. First of all, the drinking we did in that one Sunday. Listen, was we had a Fat Tuesday bottle full of Ray and Nephew and Coke. It, Mine was mostly Ray. Listen, and Nephew. my stomach just quivered <laughs> just thinking about. And we held it together. Yeah, like I didn't. Ooh, we I didn't held, throw up, y'all. I held it down. We we were champs. I held it down. We were champs, and thank Even you for my I, camera. I blacked out and everything, but I held it. Yeah, I blacked I out. I had pictures to to can show. Y'all, can I tell y'all how this what girl, she did? What during my, the blackout? <laughs> we had y'all ain't, y'all, ain't, y'all ain't ready to know about me like that. Like that listen, yet. but um, you feel me? Blacked out. Didn't even. Realize. We almost fought some niggas on the beach that day. They was trying who? to talk to us. Some guys, remember they were like trying to talk to us and I who and them? Me too? I were you I don't I think you were no, I don't know. Me too. I know me and um Yanni um were real hype and had to like pull people out the way because I'm, these oh, guys were real ignorant. I'm sorry, so so where was I? I think you were face down on the sand. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say at about that, that point. Oh yeah, yeah. Leave, it was it, around, leave, leave that. It was around them parts. I was I was face down the stand. Just leave yeah. it there. Just leave it yeah, there. because they came up trying to holler. We were like, nah, because we were. I think were we on? No, we weren't on Gay Beach at that time. We were across from Fat Tuesday. Bro, we, it, but it was lesbian spring break weekend. That's I'm what really I, that's what I call sweet heat. So much that day it could have been because really, we had eighteen hundred. Really, really unsafe. We had eighteen hundred on yeah, top that, of that. That girl was buying, and, and she was um, mad. What else did we have? Listen, like I said, I just deleted the pictures of those bruises out of my camera Yo, roll. we were bruised. Yo. Dog. Wow. Black and blue, my whole back and that whole arms, weekend we my drink, legs. That whole weekend we really drank a lot. And yeah. yeah. We're going to say it was all in good fun. I want to say there was, I feel like there was another time where we drank a lot, yo. Ooh. I, I, like. Damn. Were we drinking like that in New York? We drank a lot in Jamaica, too. Hold it down. Oh, the Jesus. Crown, the Crown Royal. Bruh. That Listen, was that not... Was cheap. We had to finish them before we came back to America. That was not right. We had to finish them before we came back to America. And, but you act like we wasn't drinking other shit at other times, too, though. That's besides the point. Wild. We wanted variety. Um, Let me see. <laughs> Pride, no, I feel like we went to drink a lot for Pride, did we? That one... No, that wasn't Pride. That was um for pre-wedding. Oh, for my brother's wedding? Yeah, that was... Oh, yes. Yes. Whoa. Yes. That Drinking. was the Patron. Yeah. 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 Yanni again. Yeah. Wait, Yanni, because she picked Yanni me up. Yanni again. God picked damn. me up. We, we met up Her, on the bus again. and my drink was... <laughs> you again. Because y'all... Yeah. Like... Yeah, because we met up on the bus to bro, go to yeah, the city to meet you. came to meet us at already. the hotel. Uh-huh. And we were drinking too. And then... Bro, yeah, and then she when met we me got with a there, drink. I was like, when yes. we got there, we was on the Patron... And then we got a bottle of Ciroc. Bruh. 
and then she we had the m- patrol the margarita pictures her, yes the pictures Didn't we and get then like, like, after that and then shit hit the fan after that no like, but no the margarita picture and that was there like two pictures we had like two pictures bro and then we had the Ciroc yes, after that bro. and then then shit started to hit the fan that was the night I broke my heel bro yes bro. <laughs> I threw up that night that yes. night I threw up yeah in the McDonald's bro yes I felt that shit coming I said whoops by the Delancey yeah <laughs> <laughs> I bolted to that bathroom bitch no I that was bro, a night that was a wild ass that night that was a night that was wild. I love them heels Yo, some leopard print I was heels. so drunk I took and you know going through some shit yeah that I just took my ass back to the hotel and went to sleep. didn't I cry did I cry that night Yes, you did. Ooh, we, we made you cry. Yeah. I bar living that water. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, we drank that day. Yeah. There was a lot of drinking going on. Yeah. We was going through some shit, though, in real life. We were going through some shit that we were trying to suppress and pretend. Because, okay, backstory. We were both in relationships for what? About three years? Two, three years? Some, some years. We were living with people. And obviously, it wasn't that great because we was drinking like shit. But it was one of those things for me personally, like I wanted to be with this person, even though I knew I shouldn't be with this person. Like there were so many red flags that in the beginning I saw them and I was like, oh no, there's all these other great things about this person that I can deal with and ignore. Like when I say red flag, it's not like "Mm, maybe I should pay attention. No, like bitch, get away, like type of shit. And you know, things happen and you get into the motions with people and end up living together for whatever reason. Like I got kicked out too low key. So, you know what I'm Mm -hmm. saying? It was like rush to move. And this is the situation that I ended up in. And over time, like, you know, relationship wasn't going in the way that I expected it to go. I tried my best or whatever to get it to steer in that direction. And it wasn't, but then I, I have this thing about being alone Cause I've been in so many relationships like back to back and sometimes it's like, it looks like I don't have a break in between. And that was one of those that made me realize like, yo, you kind of have not even like an addiction to people, but like attachment issues. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like being alone was a problem for me. Yeah. So even though I knew that that relationship was not where I was supposed to be, just the fact that he was there was enough for me even though he wasn't really there like the nigga was about his business <laughs> like i used mm-hmm. to be home alone a lot of these thursday nights i was home alone mm-hmm. <laughs> drinking yeah. this exclusive and i with... was there wondering like where the hell this man yeah is? and sometimes he would come back and you know but around my that time no, no 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 but around that time was when what years was years was that because i wasn't with nobody as yet yeah but i was with them for three yeah. years yeah, know, so from then remember until when... when you came here like uh, right before you came here was when yeah cause we remember, broke up yeah because and then by then i had been through y'all yeah because okay, you because you were in georgia we were still together i i went through like what do they call me people like me serial monogamous <laughs> that part <laughs> Yeah, that shit. That shit. Mm-hmm. So me, I wouldn't say I'm addicted to whatever, but uh-huh. I would say I'm that. But but do they? Was it? Do you think sex? they? Do you think they? I, it's attachment issues. That's what I consider but, it for me. I know, but do you think like addiction or attachment issues or and serial monogamy like? They, it could be because they cross the. I'm gonna give myself some therapy now. I feel ah. like that comes from. You know, the feeling of being wanted, Uh, of being like abandoned also, like abandonment issues and all that fun stuff. So I feel like that is what played a huge part for me personally, why I always like get attached to people. You heard that shit? Probably. Sound like a little way big (laughs) state. So, you know what I'm saying? That's me self-diagnosing right there. Like, I know that I've had issues with abandonment and stuff like that, where I feel like, you know, clinging and like... Whew, but child. I have, yeah, I have issues <laughs> where like, yeah, yeah, abandonment. But it makes me try to run out the situation first. Oh yeah, I'm, before I, I try to leave before you think you could drop me. Uh huh. It's a no. If you I, think I'm you gonna drop me, oh for real, I have no, sabotaged some shit, Yo, bruh. You On know purpose, that song? Subcont- you know that song? Hmm. Which you know song? that song? Right? Is it? It's Wale, right? I don't know. What song you talking about? Sabotage love. Or- Maybe, I don't know. I don't listen to these American music. Sabotage. Oh, um, I'll look it up. But yeah, like, I'm, you know how they say some people's self defense is fight or flight? 
I have been flight so. I don't know. I'm a cut. What? Yeah, oh yeah. I'm, sure. It's now fight that I'm, I'm learning now yeah. to fight, but um, <clears throat> pick your battles. I have also thank you. Mm-hmm. I you took it right out my mouth. Mm-hmm. I'm learning now that it's just kind of like sometimes it's just like hell nah. Yeah, like is it worth the fight? It's need. It's need. Sometimes it's neither. Mm-hmm. I just be still because oh, being still, being still and let what's happening happen. Sometimes Ooh, I just be still because I'm not gonna fight this. I ain't gonna. I mm-hmm. just. Wow. You might try to fight something and be blocking your blessing. So, <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> they can't see you. Relax. <laughs> Over here, extra as hell. <laughs> but, yeah, you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm, I'm touching some spots for some people listening right now. I know somebody out there. Is she touching anyone? Yeah, you know, somebody out there understands <laughs> if have gone through some of this shit. I mean, you know, y'all know I have my issues with going to therapy. It's, it's one of these days I'm gonna end up in somebody's chair. But I gotta, no, I need to go when I got enough money. Exactly, because I want to be able to go consistently. Because when I to go, keep yeah, I just with... I know I'm gonna take like a sabbatical <laughs> and go to therapy. Mm. I don't want to have nothing else to do. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? I like get you. I don't want to have other obligations. I don't want to have to go to work. Uh-huh. I just want to kind of take some time off and have like a whole mental break, some eat, pray, love type mm. shit, some therapy. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I gotta figure out when I want to do that. Listen, I download the Talkspace app, right? The who? <laughs> Talkspace. It's um what? therapy on your phone, basically. You can FaceTime, you can call, you can FaceTime text. FaceTime who? People? Therapist. Yeah. A how licensed much they, therapist. How much they cost? Um, I think it's like about $200. If you have some coupons, it'll be like a little bit less. For what? Like For a, a session? Month. A month. Oh, 200 a month? Yeah. How many sessions? Uh, I think you get... Um, there's like packages. You can do like four video calls, but you can text them at any time type of thing. But four video calls or something like that. There's there's many options. They have package deals. They have different pricing packages. But the I'm one that I was looking th- at was that. You think I need therapy? We all need therapy. We black in America. I'm you for real. You my friend. Yes. You think I need therapy? Yes. Me? Yeah. Damn, you said that harsh? Yeah. Like big time therapy? My black ass needs some therapy. Yes. Hello. Yes. I'm asking you though, as my friend, you look at as me your and friend, know yes. me, I need therapy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like you've come a long way from the beginning of this year, but you, yeah. 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 And uh, part of me was about to be like, you can just pray, but child. <laughs> Listen, you know, I, you know, I pray from sun up to sun Yes. Down. And there are so many people who don't go to therapy because someone else told them that they should just give it to God. And sometimes it's just, I just don't, it's a lot, yo. And I just try to, I think I try to feel my bad. It's just a (laughs) lot. And I try to figure out like, what the hell I'm going to say to you? Like, what you about to ask me? Me. That's me. I'm just like, you're going to ask me what? And I'm going to say, are you going to tell me to tell you my story? Because that's just going to make me really annoyed with you. (laughs) And I don't want to do that. Like, you going to act dumb shit? Like, what are we really trying to figure out? Why am I here? Exactly. <laughs> like, what are we doing? You know what I feel? Like, I'm going to be you sitting sound like me having right a conversation now. with myself. And I'm going to sit there and I'll be like, yo, you could just dead this because <laughs> it's not even going to work. Because I don't even understand why I'm really here. You sound like me. Like, you know you need therapy, but for what exactly? Mm-hmm. I know I need therapy for... And I just don't want nobody unpacking no shit, bro. That That's the I whole just, point. I'm not... No, To my, get to the root, get bruh, to the source, so you can stuff, be bruh. your best self. Some, that stuff is what the stuff you need to unpack. I know, you gotta get the gunk. Let go. The gunk out, but it's like... Yeah. Wow. Like, there's some shit that I know I should have been let go. Like, but it's one of them things like... Therapy, I gotta do therapy. You gotta do that. But for me, I don't want to do no group therapy. Or no, a couple, no. Unless you know. Yeah, people you know. Yeah, I, I was talking know. about that the other day. Like a group to. of people you know in therapy together. But I don't like y'all niggas. That's what I'm about to say, and that's a lot. And I don't got the time for the y'all that with the pity party. Yeah, and the, after the fact, and like, the, oh my god, god I didn't gosh, know. I didn't know, and maybe this is no. no. Get the f- on. I don't want. No. Please don't do that. No. Get out my face. <laughs> Yeah, so that's my take on group therapy. But as far as like one on one therapy, what about couples therapy? What about it? You believe in it, bro? Yeah, because sometimes you know you might need a third eye to come in and say, "Y'all both need to shut the fuck up. This is what's going on." Type okay. of thing. Oh no, nah, you good? Okay. But you know, it's I've I'm open to couples therapy. I've hmm. I'm okay with it. But I'm with that, I too. feel like. Therapy only works if you're honest, though, at the end of the day. If you're not trying to sub, like, to hide shit, so you're not trying to suppress things, 
that's when therapy works. I feel like people who think that therapy don't work that have been in therapy haven't been open with their therapist or don't like what their therapist is saying to them. Mm-hmm. So, and that's another thing. I feel like in order for you to go to therapy, you need to be open to receive what the therapy is going to be telling you. Correct. Because if you don't want to hear nothing about yourself, then <laughs> right. Just sit and stew and whatever you're going on with. Because it really, like, honestly, <laughs> it don't make no sense. You're wasting your money and these people's time. So wow. if you're thinking about going to therapy, but you have a negative outlook on therapy, you don't want to do it, like, d- don't. Wait until you're in a space where you're comfortable mm-hmm. and ready and willing to actually go to therapy. Like, me personally, like I said, I download the app and I'm just like, huh. And they petty. They be sending you emails like out the blue, like, hey, suppressing stuff. I'm like, bitch, can you shut the fuck up? Like, why are you emailing me this right now? Like, I'm fine, goddammit. it. You harsh. I'm okay. How rough, bro. <laughs> but no, like, literally, like, they be sending like these random te- Like, okay, the one that I got yesterday, why denial is dangerous and how to move past it. What, bitch? Who was talking to you? Like, <laughs> get out of my life right now. So, I mean, like I said, if you're ready for it, go for it. If you can afford it, even better. Some, um, what is it? Health insurance covers it. Mm-hmm. Find one in your network. Me personally, I want to go to a Caribbean therapist. I need to find me a black lady oh, boy. of Caribbean descent. Me personally. I don't want to go sit down and talk to no man about this. I don't want to go talk to no American. I don't want to talk to nobody white. No offense to any of those people. But because I am a Caribbean woman, I want to talk to a Caribbean woman. Okay, that's me personally Mm -hmm. so some people might want to talk to somebody that's complete opposite from them and feel like maybe they might be able to give them a better assessment of themselves but listen Mm -hmm. as long as you went to school and got your degree and you fit my criteria (laughs) right you know what i'm saying just you know go you i might have to oh and that's another thing too ask your therapist questions like if you're starting therapy you should also ask them questions because you like shouldn't a, just like go a job there. Interview? Yeah, because you have to make sure that they're the right therapist for you. You don't Hopefully, just sit there. Hopefully, y'all know to do that in job yeah. interviews. Yeah, yes, people. yes. Y'all yeah, know that, right? You can because they can ask, ask you. People, they want you to ask. Like they, some of them even ask you at the end. Do you have any questions for me? You like a dumbass? No. You know what it is? It's dope when you go read up on the shit. Yeah, and then you could come back with some like facts. For them mm-hmm. and be like, oh, so I read that. Da 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 da. Why da da da? You One of me? my favorite questions like, to ask is the hire and fire rate. Like, I want to know what is the turnaround time this, of employment. This right here. Bro. I want to know how often are people quitting this hire bitch. and fire rate. I want to know. Okay. How often are people quitting? How this, often are people getting girl, fired? This girl. Because is this a shitty company to work for? Am I gonna hate my life coming here? That's mm-hmm. what I want to know. How long are people employed here? Shit like that. Like, oh, usually a year. What? Y'all been in comp- in business for how many years? Only one year? That's the longest. Empl- oh, nah. This ain't it, buddy. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all be asking dumb questions like, do we get holiday pay? How 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 many days off do we get? Nah, you <laughs> fuck that. Like, they got 401k? They giving y'all health benefits? Some, no, huh. Some jobs ain't doing all that fun stuff. So people, oh, they're paying me. That's great. I've worked at jobs before that wasn't given health insurance, but I made that a conscious decision. Like, okay. y'all not giving me health insurance, but these checks looking nice, though. Funny. <laughs> I had Obamacare, that trash ass shit. And nice. I was just like... <laughs> and then i was like okay this fee is cheaper than obamacare every month exactly. um we're gonna pay this fee at the end of the year fuck that tax waiver like exactly. <laughs> you know what i'm saying so yeah ask questions and everything that y'all do that benefits y'all at the end of the day because you don't ask questions some people not gonna volunteer the information same thing with a therapist same thing with you know just accepting and admitting that you might be addicted to something whether it's good for you or bad for you you can have good addiction, so people don't like to admit being addicted to stuff because of the stigma. Yeah, of like myself included, of the word itself. But yeah. you can be addicted to working out. There's nothing wrong with working out. Look, there was y'all gotta chill. <laughs> like I vegans are I, addicted to being I know vegan. A lot of y'all people who work out like every day. Yo, okay, just. You're supposed to work out every day. Go work, walk for 30 no, minutes. No, but I mean, the people that be in the gym for like two like two hours at a time, like three, four times a day. Like, oh, y'all. What are you? Okay. All right. Discipline. I don't it's know. People, no, but they be like, they start to turn into a damn idiot. Like, <laughs> socially retarded. Gym is life. Like, socially, like, stupid. Like, a whole juice head. Like, just yeah. socially, like, boom. Mm-hmm. A whole caveman. Like, 
Yeah. Or Cape Woman. Yeah. It it's happens. Like, it's like, can you relax? Yeah. I see your muscle. Like, relax, bro. <laughs> different people have different vices. They might have an end game like what they want to look like or this how much true. they want to be able to lift. And I'm with that, but some of them... Yeah. Some people are just shoving that shit down your throat, yeah, though. You, like, exactly. Ooh, I'm like, get the <laughs> fuck out of here, man. What the fuck? What was that? Over here, ooh, over here flexing and shit. Get the fuck out of my face, yo. <laughs> oh, God. That shit weird. Yeah. Over here. Yeah, just flexing. Yeah, flexing. Just flexing. Shit, nigga, Literal, we see your arms already. Literal flexing. Get flexing. Right. Shit, like every picture is just an arm. Just like, yeah. Get your pre-workout thinking <laughs> ass out my face, bro. And then all these like powders and... Th- bruh, bruh. Let's not even talk. I ain't doing... What is in these powders? Ass? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Pre-workout. Then they got like the... Yeah, pre-workout. I didn't even make you feel the like the Hulk. Nigga, are you kidding me? And- why does it make you feel like the Hulk right there now? There's a little cocaine in there. Oh, okay then. No? <laughs> Makes sense. They be in there. A whole bunch of crap. <laughs> I mean, they used to have... <laughs> Stop it. Give me that bitch push your weight. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, they used to put Coke and Coca-Cola back in the day, so Coke can't be too Coke heavy. Coke and Coca-Cola. Yeah, there was a little bit of cocaine so, sprinkled in Coca-Cola back in the day. Nigga. A little sprinkle, a little it's stupid. Little, you know, they had to take it out, though, because I guess Coke is bad for you. But I think anything in excess is bad for you, so that's, there's, that's, there's that. Mm. There's that. I honestly make a conscious effort not to drink. And I think that means I have a problem because I make a conscious effort not to. Yeah. But I drink socially, you know? Like, earlier today, I had a drink because I had one of them days at work when I wanted to flip the whole building. Not even just the desk, the whole building. And I came home. I had me some rum mm-hmm. and some little creamy mix-up mix-up. Yeah, you know me and my creamy mix-up mix-ups. I love me a rum cream-like type of drink. We love and, a rum cream. Yeah. I do so, cream But, like, I, I like the rum in the rum cream, too. Oh, though. yeah, I just, like... The rum, like, yeah. The creamy sweetness of it. Ew, that sounded dirty. Yeah, you it's so nasty <laughs> long time. You know what you are talking about. But, yeah, so, I mean, there's that. Like, I'm, like I said, I, we all have vices. Just As long as you don't let it take over your life, and that's really all it comes down to, as long as you don't let it take over your life and block you from being a productive member of society, like just a properly functioning member of society, go right because there's people that's addicted to the internet, addicted to social media, addicted to like you know. Do you think there's people that are addicted to being sad? Some people who don't know how to be happy, yes. like they find comfort in sadness. In sadness, because I mean, but then claim that they don't. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like me being you know me, me and my psychology tip. That's Probably like a coping mechanism, so that you what what comes after being sad? Nothing. Yeah, I so you don't have you to just expect. Put at the bottom yeah, of so you, you don't, don't have, have to, to fall. Yeah, I guess that makes kinda. sense. It's safe to be sad because you get happy sense, yeah. and then dreams get crushed and whatever the case is. So I mean, there's that. Not true. I, mean, I know I'm a negative Nancy when it comes to some things. Like I expect the worst. I hope for the best, but I expect the worst most times. Me, I I see that as I'm getting older. Mm-hmm. and stronger in my face and mm-hmm. such and such and all those lovely things that um I'm kind of like a bit more optimistic mm-hmm. about certain things and it's like you know faith is yeah. big over here so I'm just like yo this stuff will go work you know yeah or this is just what's gonna be like mm-hmm. I have to just get the doubt out my mind yeah. but I'm I have to apply that to like Every Everything. corner of my life. <laughs> mm-hmm. If I could apply it to every corner of my life, you I'll lit. be unstoppable as shit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's, you know, work in progress. But it's you, coming. You talking about your craft? <clears throat> wow, don't do that to me. No, because you know. I, that's one thing that I personally have an issue with also. Because, like, I know I'm, I know I'm badass. I as know well, I'm you badass. Feel me? No, I you know, know I'm just, the no, fucking you just, shit. You the shit huh? I know I'm it. You I know. Me. And I'm passionate about this. I'm I excuse, love this. Excuse me, the shit. When do you leave? Next week? The week after. Oh, so wait. You going to be here when? Thanksgiving. You going to be here the 24th? Yes, so I gonna am. So you going to be there to watch me play? I am. Ha! I am. Indeed. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, iPhone I photography. am. 
I got you. Okay, I got I'm you. Don't make me bring my DSLR out Don't there. Start. Don't start. <laughs> bring a flash one time. Like, that was not. That door. wasn't even. It wasn't a shameless plug. Or I swear it wasn't. <laughs> you just thought about it. Like it wasn't a, a shameless plug. But yeah. I am playing next week. Yeah. What, what party name? Abe. <laughs> All black. Everything. If you are gay. In Caribbean, or, or just want to be around, and want to be with the people, or just want to be around, you yeah. know, there will be some soca, some dancehall, hopefully no hip hop. God Lord, listen, but, if I could, yeah, listen, I know it's gonna play, but you know, I mean, come for more through. details if you really want them. Follow at Team Dutty on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. All the social medias, Team Dutty. It is what it sounds like. It does get dutty out there. Nasty, yeah, the nasty bad stink. <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, show up, show out. But, yeah, I mean, like, same thing, like I said, with my craft. I know that I'm the shit. It's a, but I have my fears at the same time. That's like, like what e- if all my pictures look no, horrible? No, no, no. What if this makes y'all like shit? No, I'm not going for it, bro. And I would take pictures. I would take pictures. I would play and with hate, this. And, and look, look, I hate rejection like shit. What? You. Oh my Listen. gosh, be but they be like, hey, you know, you gotta fail forward. I. Oh uh, yeah. That's nice. I hear you. When you could do it. You know, <laughs> my thing is, I think it's because I stopped for so long. As well. I think it's because I stopped for so long. As well. Because I was I, up there and I was climbing and I was I'm good you, and I'm I was doing that. that shit and I was doing it. I was doing that. it and I, let a lot I was of gaps. in. I had a yeah. Lot of gaps. And I just stopped cold turkey and like, I well, also, not even cold turkey. Like I, I weaned off. Yeah. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah. That really. That mm-hmm. was not even on my mind. My yeah. mind was on trying to make it yeah. through a day yeah. and staying alive, not even focusing on a craft. That would have took too much out of me at that <sighs> point. I was over here trying to exist. You know, at one point, I was using that as a coping mechanism before it got real dark. Like, okay. I literally, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm outside doing night photography. Photography. Like, I have I a you. tripod outside, and I'm just sitting you. there with a long shutter and just no, getting... I definitely feel you. You know like, what I'm you saying? You see how that thing was right in my bedroom at the foot of yeah. my bed? <laughs> I used to be up. With the headphones on mixing. Mm-hmm. Don't know what the hell I'm mixing, but yeah. something was like, cat, get up, yeah. mix, if I was feeling some kind of way. Mm-hmm. But eventually that turned, you know. Yeah, that turned into it's something turned else. Into we need a little things. stronger drug. Stronger drug than than. You know than what I'm saying? That. There's crack in that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, that about wraps up all my, my fun... What's it called? Oh, what is this? Somebody like well, me. I mean, at least you didn't make addiction all dreary and shit. Like, yeah, don't no, be I wasn't addicted trying to... to stuff. Kids. No, yeah, I mean, are, it happens. You, there, like I said, there is functional functioning addicts as long as it's not something that is detrimental. And don't to... automatically sit there and be like, nah, you don't want to talk about it or not like that because you think you sound like a crackhead or you something like that. Like, you could be addicted to stuff. You could talk about it. Yeah, you can be addicted I don't know to who love. To talk about it. I'm not saying talk about it with me. <laughs> But uh, y'all can talk to me, you know. Yeah, I'm a good listener. I yeah, listen. I mean, yeah, you know, I listen. DM I me. listen as well, but I just, you know, yeah, secrets and stuff. People, yeah, and their listen. And such, first of all, I mean? people be telling me their business, and my memory sucks. I'll be forgetting most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> so don't worry about me blabbing this shit about to nobody. I just be like, oh, wow, well, that that happened. I just always hear very interesting things, and it's yeah. just like, you know life and such um remember i said i was gonna be reading poems on here there's a poem i came across what is it about is it about addiction um no it's not but i probably should have found one for that no it's okay (laughs) so i mean but i just thought we were gonna you know it's funny because i was in the books department at my job and there's this book called um let me find it so i can not be inaccurate it says please excuse this my dear aunt sally what Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse this poem, right? It's a hundred new poems of poets of the next generation. That's what the book is called. It's a book of poems. I don't know if these people are colored or not. I don't know anything about these people. I just know that that title grabbed me and Shadow. Shadow's the one that actually post um showed it to me. And I was like, oh shit. Mm. But this one is called Jacob with a K. Well, it's Jacob, but it's spelled J-A-K-O-B by Dor- Dorothea Lasky. So it says, I am sick of feeling. I never eat or sleep. I just sit here and let the words burn into me. I know you love her and don't love me. No, I don't think you love her. I know there are clouds that are very pretty. I know there are clouds that trundle around the globe. I take anything I can get to love. I live, whoa. Live things that are the world is made of. Live things are, live things are black. I said live instead of live. Jesus Christ. I'm you not okay? here right now. You nervous? No. Yeah, okay. look a bit, you know, look okay. a bit. So let me oh, start over from throat. after she... Uh, <laughs> you look a water, man. Mm. 
So <laughs> let me start this over. I'm sick of feeling I never eat or sleep. I just sit here and let the words burn into me. I know you love her and don't love me. No, I don't think you love her. I know there are clouds that are very pretty. I know there are clouds that trundle around the globe. I take anything I can to get to love. Live things are what the world is made of. Live things are black. Black in that they forget where they came from. I have not forgotten. However, I choose not to feel. Those places that have burned into me, there's too much burning here. I'm afraid. Readers, you read flat words. Instead, here are many moments in which I have screamed in pain as the flames ate me. That was sad. But anyways, yeah, yeah, that poem, that kind of relates to what we were talking about. Because it sounds like she running behind a man, Jacob. Jacob don't want you, baby. It's okay to let go. It's all right. But, you know, y'all can send me your poems, short stories, all that fun stuff. Y'all don't run after no man, okay? And don't run after no woman either. Yeah, I just felt no. like, me, I felt like, okay, hold on. Wait, oh. wait I might have a word. Mm-hmm. Real quick. So anybody out there that's chasing after someone right now, and that person is showing you a vibe that they don't want to be with you, or... They don't, they're not, they're really not interested in you. I'm going to need you to let that go. Mm-hmm. I don't know. This is a weekly vibe. This is a daily. I don't this know is an who, hourly yeah, vibe. Yeah, I don't know who this is, though. I don't know who this is, though. Mm-hmm. But this is for somebody that's going to hear this. Mm-hmm. Stop chasing that person. Let them go. You shouldn't have to chase nobody. If they wanted to Big be there, facts. they would be there. Exactly. Stop chasing them. It's over for that. Yeah. 2018 and done. I don't know. You like, and be careful. Whoever. I don't know. Be very careful. Just yeah, just be careful. I don't know. Weird. Love yourselves. You know, weird little feelings. Yeah. But yeah, you having them old old Jamaican uh feelings. Yes. <laughs> yes. I yeah, I get them all the time. Same. They're annoying. But yeah, mm-hmm. whoever it is that needed that, maybe it's a few of y'all. Don't chase nobody. Like self love and all that. Like self worth and all that. Like Yeah. Ain't nobody don't let nobody have you out here chasing them and shit. Don't let nobody mind you. Yeah. Nope. Alrighty. That was it. We're kind of easy on for us. <laughs> um, if you have any poetry or short stories that you want to share or have read on the show, please feel free to read them or read them to submit them to um, askpointless at gmail.com. A-S-K-P-O-I-N-T-L-E-S-S-S at gmail.com. Um, don't forget to listen, like, share, subscribe, Pointless Talks podcast. We're available on iHeartRadio. Tune in, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud. We follow us on Facebook. I'm still adding them YouTube videos. Don't kill me. Google Play Music. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. We're also on Spotify. If you like us, rate us, give us five stars. Keeping a bad mind feelings, them too, in a self. And whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for tuning in. You have the most impeccable bye. timing. I ain't even get to say bye. Did I say bye? Bye. Ha! <laughs>